Hello, what up, what's up? All praises due to the Most High God. I thank you for joining me. New subscribers, returning subscribers, and y'all that's just stopping by. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell. That way you'll be notified for when I upload new content. Let's go ahead and get into this message. Take only what resonates and leave the rest. God, I thank you, Jesus. I thank you. Angels and ancestors of the Most High, with your white light, please guide and protect us as we go into the tarot and allow me to channel clear and honest messages for whomever may come across this message. What do they need to know? Or what do they need to hear? I didn't even know losing fell out. Worried, replaying, event thinking, yeah, rumination. Somebody's constantly thinking about a situation between someone. They're losing sleep over this. And they're trying to keep busy. Yeah, somebody could be overworked too. Somebody could be like double shifting or taking extra hours. What else will this do? Yeah, somebody keeps playing something over and over. This person is also watching, heavily watching tarot readings, considering you. Or you could be heavily watching tarot readings. Somebody could also be getting a reading. Yeah, somebody's going to a partition and getting a reading done on you. Somebody can feel like you're their twin flame. What else, Holy Spirit? You have here running. Yeah, somebody could be running from a twin flame situation. You could be a tarot reader or read tarot here. You're spiritually gifted here. And this person is trying their best to distance themselves from you. Or they're running from this situation, this connection, this relationship. Because you've picked up on something. Or they feel like you can read them easily. And when I say easily, you don't need the tarot to do it. Somebody feels like they made a mistake or they're regretful. Why is this person running from the collective and their spiritual gifts? Holy Spirit. Damn, that card flew out. What is this? A karmic lesson. And I miss you. So this person doesn't want to break your heart. We have here a heartbreak. That romantic time that you guys have with each other, they still want you to think of them that way. They still want to, want you to feel that way for them. They don't want the feelings that you have for them to change and not based off of this karmic lesson that they're going through. They feel ashamed. They feel ashamed for whatever happened or guilty. They know they're wrong. Are they wrong, Jew? This person is going through something at this time. Are you and this person could be going through something at this time? But you guys are at a distance because they're missing you. Give me one more for romance and heartbreak. Something that you said to this person triggered them. This is a secret. This was a secret. Yeah, whatever you um, said to this person caused this person to do some type of reflecting or soul searching. And that's what this person is doing in this time of separation. But that's what you, yeah, period. That's what this person's doing, soul searching. They love you. One more message, Holy Spirit. A karmic lesson. You could have told this person what a karmic was or that they were going through a karmic lesson or they didn't realize something. They were in this constant loop or this constant cycle or this. Yeah. This person is gone. You, like, brought this person to some type of a awakening. Karmic lesson, Holy Spirit. 
You yeah, have here happily, happily single. You could have spoke to this person about being happy with their self. Being happy with their self before they could be happy with someone else. About focusing on their self and healing and growing. Pinpointing those childhood traumas and healing from that. I'm just getting like this. Y'all went deep. Like, y'all went deep with this spiritual at the bottom. I'm telling you, like, this spiritual shit. This, this some next level shit to this person. Like, they ain't never experienced nobody like you. Like, you're so different. Somebody is like going through a spiritual awakening, but they're also in massive regret for something. Clearing on this message for the collective Holy Spirit. They're losing sleep over this. And for, and for some of you, somebody could be trying to keep busy. And this could have something to do with a work affair as well. With the um, workplace affair here. Clarify getting readings, Holy Spirit. Clearing on these messages of the collective. The Seven of Swords, yeah. Person's trying to sneak and get information on you with the Page of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. Because they're trying to figure out what action they need to make or what move they need to make. But they're trying to do this um, very discreetly. Somebody, you can, somebody's like sneaking and watching tarot or sneaking and watching you or. Hmm. I could, I'm talking to a tarot reader here. Just somebody that's like deep in this spirituality. You're very spiritual. You're very mysterious to this person. The destination of the possibilities with you are endless. This person, this, what, what, um, triggers this person is they don't know what to expect with you but it's like in every direction you have taken this person they want to keep going they want to know where else this is going to lead to where else can you take them because I'm just looking at this girl and it's like she kissing this man on his face and she kissing him and she holding on to these handlebars. Now she could just fall off at any moment and she don't know where he taking her because she ain't paying attention. And um, that's why I'm getting like with the spirituality. This person wasn't paying attention, but now they're paying, paying attention to the spiritual side of you guys' connection. Why is this person running from the spiritual insight, these spiritual gifts? Somebody could have just <laughs> tapped into their spiritual gifts. Something could have freaked somebody out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wisdom. Knowledge. Forgiveness. With this hierophant here, somebody's definitely going through a karmic lesson. But you are like a teacher to this person. This person is learning from you in some kind of way. What is this? The Six of Swords. You're helping this person get through something. I'm just getting like something. Like this too will pass. Somebody could be going through something at this time and this too will pass. But this person can't let this pass them by or they don't want to let you pass by 
or let this connection with you pass by. Like they don't want to miss this. They they don't want to miss this opportunity. It's like the ships are, are leaving the dock, okay? And they don't want to be left behind. So it's like they feel like they have to heal something or get it together. But there was some type of, this person had an ego death as well. What else, Holy Spirit? Running from the spiritual gifts? You have here the Ace of Swords. That's the truth. They see you as this strong leader. They feel like your words are very powerful. Or you're very powerful. Something to do with like stones. You could be teaching this person about stones or charms or something like that why does this what is this person worried about this heartbreak okay missing you at this time what is this person worried about the two of wands a decision that they have to make with the ten of cups they're looking at you as a ten of cups okay we have the six of pentacles following that so this person is taking a step back here. They're trying to receive some clarity about the connection between you two. Something is running. They've never felt this way before. I'm just getting like it runs deep. There's a, a very like em intense emotional side to this. They don't want to make the wrong decision. They don't want to get hurt. They don't want to hurt you. And even if you two had to walk away from one another, they don't want you guys to walk away with broken hearts. This person has a fire for you that can't be extinguished. And I'm just getting like if They want you to be happy while you guys are in this separation with this happy and single. They don't want you to stop living your life. They want you to keep accomplishing your goals and, and staying focused on your career. Somebody's like, <laughs> me and all my bullshit. Like, somebody's like, you don't need me and all my bullshit. Or like, Somebody's like going through something at this time and they're not telling you everything. What else, Holy Spirit? Heartbreak. Two of Wands, we have here the Lovers card. They love you, the Four of Swords. They think about the love that they have for you all the time. And this person is careful about the way that they move, the things that they say. Because something between you guys is sensitive. It's, it's very sensitive. This person holds back a lot too. They've experienced spiritual um, encounters more than a couple of times. And they haven't told you this. Clarify spiritual and romance. This person is trying to understand why they feel what they feel for you. And this deck is called True Emotional for a reason. <laughs> the Three of Swords with the Sun card at the bottom of the deck. This has a lot to do with somebody's happiness. Love and being loved. Truly connecting to their higher self. 
and connecting to God. This is crazy. So somebody is in celebration from someone because they're going through a karmic lesson. They're missing this person at this time. They're in love with this person. Something is, everything about this connection, ain't no something, everything about this connection is spiritual. With this Hierophant here being, and Lover's card being the only major arcana, that's what it's all about. Somebody is learning to love. Somebody is opening their heart. You've opened someone's heart chakra. You've shown someone a new way of being and seeing and doing and, and learning. Someone's breaking free from the breakup, the heartache, the depression, the sadness, the grief, the divorce, just like all of it. What else, Holy Spirit, I miss you. I miss you. The Six of Wands, you're this person's goal. They don't want to get back to the way things were. They want things to be better. So they're doing better. And with this Four of Pentacles here, this person doesn't know how to come towards you, approach you. Because they're holding back. A lot with the two of swords at the bottom of the deck. They're so worried about losing you. And they feel embarrassed about something that they did. Girl, Father, Four of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Holy Spirit, Missing You, the Tower card. Yeah, they feel like they fucked shit up. The King of Swords, Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This person is like really relax, breathe, calm down. What's done is done. Do what you can and what you can't. Give it to the most high. Because somebody feels like everything around them is being destroyed. And that's because it is, okay? It, it definitely well could be being destroyed. Cause I'm getting like you're going through you're going to have a whole new beginning and this destruction needed to happen okay there's a big change coming there's change coming what else Holy Spirit so I'm feeling like somebody's going through a transition, but they're going back towards the person that they're in love with or that they love or they have all this passion for and desire for. We have here the chariot. They're going back to this person. The three of Wands. They look forward to the day where y'all could be together again. The Five of Cups. The Nine of Cups. You're who they crave. You are what's going to satisfy this person. They said. Things have been really tough lately with the Ten of Wands as I split the deck, the Nine of Cups. A Gemini, a Taurus could be significant. Heavy on the Gemini, a Scorpio, a Cancer. Alright, Sagittarius. Let me get a few more messages and I'm going to end this. What does the collective need to hear, Holy Spirit? What do they need to know? Regarding what this person is dealing with? 
that wants to come back towards the collective. Aww. We have her and I love you and I'm fucked up over you. Collective. What the fuck y'all got going on? We have your I love you and I'm fucked up over you. That's what you need to know. I love your ass, girl. I love you. Divine masculine as I move. I love, I, why I say that though? I love your ass, girl. <laughs> Divine masculine. You got that motherfucker all up in his feelings. They could be like, God damn, did you put did you do some spell work on me? And no, they did not ghost you. Somebody wants to come towards you and explain everything. We have here ghosted and said goodbye. Somebody feels like somebody won't be back around or mm. this your divine masculine coming. Him coming. You better get ready. Him coming. We have your separation as I slip the deck. What does the collective need to know? We have your I love you and I'm fucked up over you. You got me tripping. You got me tripping. Oh, stumbling. Oh. We have your healing, faith, meditation, and praying. Trap. Yeah, this person had to get out of this box. They wanted better, so they had to do better. They're praying, healing, meditating, growing. Okay, really getting in touch with self. This is nice. I love you guys. I'm sending you the utmost love and respect, peace, healing, joy, prosperity, abundance, love, and that shit. Peace, two, two, two.